Welcome to the DMT tutorial. So after you enter your login credentials, this terms and conditions screen will pop up and then you'll just have to click the box and then click OK. And then it, it'll take you to the main screen so you'll see that everything still needs to be completed on this account. So then we'll just get started. So first you'll want to go in and make sure that your contact information is correct. If you need to update it, you'll just click on that button that says my contact info. Also make sure that you update your billing contact information. So this is where you'll edit your information. Then you can click save and next. And then that will bring you back to the main screen. And then you'll wanna go over to your parcels tab. And so this will show you all of the parcels that you have in your account. As you can see next to the APN number, it will tell you if you have a high nitrogen vulnerability parcel and if it requires an SECP plan. Also, it will show you if your parcels are active or inactive. So if you need to deactivate a parcel, just go ahead and click on that button there. And then there's a list of reasons. Let's say if it's change of ownership, just put in the date that it was sold and who to, if you have that information. And then if you needed to add a parcel, just click the add parcel page and this will pop up and just fill out the information and it will show up on the parcels page. Then we'll go to the cropping page. So over here you'll see your parcels. Please edit your field ID to as you see fit. So for this one I put in field one and row Z. This is where you will edit your crop information if you have the year that was planted Make sure your irrigated acres are up to date. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to this section of the INMP. So this is where we're editing the management units. Okay, and then this is the INMP summary report section. So over here, this is where you'll put in the pounds of nitrogen applied. And then all of this other information, if you have that handy, your yields per acre, that yield unit. And then we'll go ahead and scroll down. And there's gonna be these three sections that used to be in the farm evaluation survey. They just moved over. So just go ahead and check those as they apply to each management unit. And then if you do not fill out everything that needed to be filled out, it will give you a warning notice. As you can see here, there'll be a pop-up and it'll tell you what you need to fill out and it'll be shown in red. So then we'll just go back in here and go ahead and edit all of that information that we need to put in. So, and again, this is where you would put in the pounds of nitrogen applied per acre. And then all of these sections will need to be put in as zero if you don't know the actual numbers, if you don't do that. But it will give you a warning if it does not have a numerical digit in there and then this we're just going to edit your yield per acre and then that yield unit and then down here for your management units we'll just fill those out and then just to, t to touch on the management units we usually are going to want to separate them into different crop types 
So for this example account, we only had the two parcels and they had two different crops. Um, but let's say if you had 10 parcels and they were all walnuts, you can go ahead and keep those into one management unit. Just makes it easier for reporting purposes for you guys. Okay, so we just clicked save and next, and then now we're onto the INMP certification section. If you are notified as an outlier, I'll show you in that box. Please make sure to check that box before you move on. This is for the certification portion, so click as applies to you. And then you will have to just go ahead and type in your name. And then just go ahead and click certification completed. And then it will bring you to the outreach and training page. And there's gonna be two questions here and just click as applies to you. And then we'll just do save and next. Then it'll take you to the SECP plan. So as discussed before, you'll know if that's needed. And then moving on to the farm evaluation survey. So this is just asking about your irrigation wells. So go ahead and answer those as they apply to you as well. And then you can add a well, just click the add well button and you can go ahead and name that as well. Okay, and then we'll click save and next. All right, so then these are broken up by, again, your management units. So we'll go to number one, and then just fill out these as applies. This is stuff that was has always been on the farm evaluation survey. So it shouldn't be anything new for you guys. And then we'll just click save. And then we're gonna move on to management unit two which for this example is the plums. So just click as applies. And you can click multiples. Okay, and then moving on to the whole farm section of the farm evaluation. So for pesticide practices, just click all that applies. And then this section about the drinking water wells is an addition. It was required from the regional water board. So just go ahead and fill this section out. It will not let you continue if you don't fill them out. If you don't have any, just put zero. And then as always, you will have to type your name And then just go ahead and click complete the farm evaluation. And then this will bring you back to the main screen. All right, and then you'll just check your account and make sure that everything shows as we see here. And then if you have a balance due, it will show you in the far right hand corner and everything else should say complete. I just wanted to go over 
Let's go back over to the INMP summary report section. So if you are reporting yield for pasture, go ahead and use the irrigated pasture nitrogen management and planning calculator. And then the website's right here so you can click on that and it'll open up a new tab so you can complete that. And then also, of course, you'll still have to fill out your INMP worksheet, and that is your planning tool. So you will be using that to plan out your 2021 crop. And then if you want to go ahead and print out that form, there's a little button right here, and you can click on that, and it will open it up. And then you can go ahead and print that and fill out your worksheet that way. Also, let's go back over. We'll go over to the INMP worksheet section and then over here. Okay, and then there is a couple questions and that would be on your worksheets. So if you need help estimating your crop evaporation values or your irrigation efficiencies, over in this section right here, there's going to be a couple of links, and then you can click on those, and then those charts will come up, and they can help you fill out your worksheet as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We are more than happy to help you. Thank you.